Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. We are coming together to do a Bible scripture reading um, from the book of Acts, chapter 23. So go ahead and grab your Bibles. We're going to Acts, chapter 23. And this is your Bible inspiration. Grab your Bibles, grab your Bibles. Heavenly Father God, we thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, Father, for giving us a chance to use this platform to honor your name and to spread your word. We give you glory on today, Lord. We remove any distractions that may try to hinder us from getting this word. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And Lord, bless the hearers and the doers of your holy word. Amen. All right, Acts chapter 23. And Paul, earnestly beholding the council, said, Men and brethren, I have lived in all good conscience before God until this day. And the high priest and Ananias commanded them that stood by him to smite him on the mouth. Then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou whited wall, for sittest thou to judge me after the law, and commandest me to be smitten contrary to the law. And they that stood by said, Revilest thou God's high priest? Then said Paul, I wist not, brethren, that he was the high priest, for it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people. But when Paul perceived that the one part were Sadducees and the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Men and brethren, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee. Of the hope and resurrection of the dead, I am called in question. And when he had so said, there arose a dissension between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the multitude was divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. And there arose a great cry, and the scribes that were of the Pharisees' part arose and strove, saying, We find no evil in this man. But if a spirit or an angel hath spoken to him, let us not fight against God. And when there arose a great dissension, the chief captain, fearing lest Paul should have been pulled in pieces of them, commanded the soldiers to go down and to take him by force from among them and to bring him into the castle. And the night following, the Lord stood by him and said, be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear witness also at Rome. So a plot was defeated. And when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they have killed Paul. And they were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy. And they came to the chief priests and elders and said, We have bound ourselves under a great curse that we will eat nothing until we have slain Paul. Now therefore ye with the counsel signify to the chief captain that he bring him down unto, unto you tomorrow, as, thou, as though ye would inquire something more perfectly concerning him, and we, or, even, or ever he come near, are ready to kill him. And when Paul's sister's son heard of their lying in wait, he went and entered into the castle and told Paul. Then Paul called one of the centurions unto him and said, Bring this young man unto the chief captain, for he hath a certain thing to tell him. So he took him and brought him to the chief captain and said, Paul the prisoner called me unto him and prayed me to bring this young man unto thee who hath something to say unto thee. Then the chief captain took him by the hand and went with him aside privately and asked him, what is it that thou hast to tell me? And he said, the Jews have agreed to desire thee that thou wouldst 
bring Paul, bring down Paul tomorrow into the council as though they would inquire somewhat of him more perfectly. But do not thou yield unto them, for there lie in wait for him of them more than forty men which have bound themselves with an oath that they will neither eat nor drink till they have killed him. And now are they ready, looking for a promise from thee. So the chief captain then let the young man depart and charged him, See thou tell no man that thou hast showed these things to me. And he called unto him two centurions, saying, Make ready two hundred soldiers to go to Caesarea and horsemen threescore and ten, and spearsmen two hundred at the third hour of the night, and provide them beasts that they may set Paul on and bring him safe unto Felix the governor. And he wrote a letter after this manner, Claudius Lys Lysias unto the most excellent governor, Felix sended greeting. This man was taken of the Jews and should have been killed of them. Then came out with an army and rescued him, having understood that he was a Roman. And I would have known the cause wherefore they accused him. I brought him forth unto their council, whom I perceived to be accused of questions of their law, but to have nothing laid to his charge worthy of death or the, of, of bonds. And when it was told me how the Jews laid wait for the man, I sent straightway to thee and gave commandments to his accusers also to say before thee what they had against him. Farewell. Then the soldiers, as it was commanded them, took Paul and brought him by night to Antipatris. On the morrow they left the horsemen to go with him and return to the castle, who when they came to Caesarea and delivered the epistle to the governor, presented Paul also before him. And when the governor had read the letter, he asked of what province he was. And when he understood that he was of Cilicia, I will hear thee, he said he, when thine accusers are also come. And he commanded him to be kept in Herod's judgment hall. So we have read from the book of Acts, chapter 23, in its entirety. I pray that it has blessed you. Heavenly Father God, Lord, I thank you for the people that are on, that are listening to your word. I pray that they receive from your word, not only hear it, but, uh, but be doers of your word. So please bless each and every person, each and every household connected to them, Lord. Work all things out for their good, oh God. Let your word come alive to them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So I thank you for joining. Stay tuned, everyone.
Be sure to visit A Design Transformation at www.adesigntransformation.com for more inspiration. And make sure that you leave um, a comment. Let us know that you stopped by. Please like and share. And if you would, click on the, the scan codes at the top of your screen where you will find some books and also a way to uh, contribute by way of donation to um, help to get the word out. I appreciate you for joining. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day.